Hey, what's up, guys? This is Garrett from Audio Runner, and I want to show you a little quick tutorial on how to set up this great new plugin from BT and Isotope Stutter Edit. We've been in a producer world waiting for this thing for a long time, and it is pretty amazing. Um, so, here's a little quick tutorial on how to set it up in Ableton Live and kind of get you going. So, what we've got here is I've exported just a few uh, audio files just a track so you can kind of see how it works um, this way we're working with audio it'll be pretty clean uh, here's a quick way to set it up first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a new MIDI track so insert MIDI track and then within this MIDI track you want to go ahead and hit monitor in and you're going to want to Go ahead and reach over and grab your stutter edit. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can run stutter edit and pull the plugin over and put it on your master track if you want. Um, like if you get a DJ set or something like that, uh, where you're going to be doing a lot of uh, different clips, throwing them around. You want to have the master control. Or if you're doing it for a song, just to kind of you know play with some sounds, do a little design. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on the chords section of the track, just so you can get a better overview of it. And there it is right there. We'll uh, we'll stick with what uh, default preset we got here. And uh, really some good presets in here. Uh, BT's signature presets, he's loaded up there. Some that he does on stage and, and a few other programmers. So we'll close that down. Now we have that loaded within the chords track. But we'll, what we need to do is we need to be able to record MIDI. We need to direct the MIDI to the plugin or which channel it is. So on your MIDI channel that we just loaded up, go ahead and click on MIDI 2 and send that to wherever you just loaded it. For me it's going to be on the chords track. So now that's directing it here to affect the chords when I select uh, the MIDI notes using MIDI controller that I've got. Um, I'm using a Novation Launchpad. You can use pretty much any MIDI controller uh, that'll get your MIDI in here. So go ahead and arm the track, and then we'll play a section and just kind of play around with it and see, you know, how it works. Alright, so you can see that it's pretty easy to do. Um, there was just doing it live, say if we had a live sequence going. And what you can do is record it as a MIDI clip. So if you just activate your clip here by clicking on a button, then you can record it in sequence notes and when it plays back, it'll trigger the same ones that you just did. Um, the other alternative to doing this is to load it into the master track. And the cool thing about it is, if you grab the stutter edit plugin no matter where it's at and drag it to let's say the master channel then if you go and go back here all you need to do is go MIDI 2 select master and play the track back and you're ready to rock anyway you get a chance to check it out it's uh... it's BT's mastermind plugin and this thing is incredible so check it out